Hi there, this is Kritesh and welcome to TradeBrain's YouTube channel. In this video, you are going to learn how to track all the companies listed on National Stock Exchange using Google Sheets. So there are two important concepts that you are going to learn in this video, which is very simple and easy to execute. The first is how you can download all the companies, all the stocks which are listed on NSC. And second is how to track their share price, that is at what price these stocks are trading, their 52 week high, their 52 week low and other details about that stock. So let's get started. So in order to find the list of all the companies listed on National Stock Exchange, that is NSC, first go to NSC website. So NSC website is nscindia.com and here you can go on market data and securities available for trading. Here you can download the list of all the companies which are publicly traded on NSC. So click on securities available for equity segment and by clicking on this you can download the complete list. So let's open this list. So this is a list of all the companies which are trading on National Stock Exchange. So here you can see that 1631 companies are listed on National Stock Exchange which are trading actively. Now the first part is done. We have downloaded the list of all the companies which are trading on NSC. The second part is to track all these companies on Google Seed. So first what you need to do is to copy all these data, data that is control A, control C and then go to Google Sheet and simply paste this one. So now you have got the list of all the companies listed on NSC on the Google Sheets. However, here you cannot see the current share price that is what is the share price of 3M India or 5 Pesa. What is the current share price or the last trading price of those shares. So this is what we are going to do using Google Finance formulas. Now here you can see a lot of data are available that is you can find the symbol of the company, name of the company, their series, date of listing, paid up value, market lot, ISIN number and face value. But from an investor point of view you do not need to know all these data. So we are going to simply delete all these and we will keep just the symbol name of the company and face value and apart from these let's say we want to find data like the current share price it's 52 week high and 52 week low which means that what is the current price of the stock and in last one year what was the highest price at which the stock traded and similarly in the last one year that is 52 weeks what was the minimum price on which this stock traded so in order to find the current share price there is a very simple formula now as this google seat is a product of google you can use all the different google finance data here so now if you go on google finance you can see the list of all the data that you can fetch on google seat now let me show you an example how you can face the stock data of a company. So in order to store, face the stock data all you need to do is to go here go on the Google sheet type is equal to Google finance and here you need to type the symbol of the company. So the symbol is 20 microns so select A2 which is the symbol of a company and the price and just close the bracket and press enter. So this is the current share price of the company. 21 microns is currently share trading at rupees 24.5. Similarly, if you want to find the 52 week high, here you can see the syntax that you have to use. So in order to find the 52 week high price, you have to use a syntax of high 52. So again, copy the same formula. And instead of using price, we are going to use high 52 here. So this is the highest price at which this stock was trading for the last one year and similarly if you want to find the 52 week low of this company just paste the same formula and replace the price with low 52 and press enter. So here you can see this is the 52 week low price of this company. So now you can see that using Google Sheet you have found the three different data about this company. And if you want to find the same data for all the 1652 companies listed on NSC, just select this one and scroll it down. Now it might take a little time to load because there are a lot of data available for all the 1600 companies. 
however once the loading is done you can find the current price 52 week low 52 week high for all these companies and apart from these data you can also use different other syntaxes like market cap trade time pe eps beta etc and you can also use those syntax to find and track the details of different companies so here you can see that how by using simple google finance formula you have found the different details and now you have your own google sheet of data of all the companies listed or nsc the next step you can do here is select all and make a filter so go on data and create a filter so using this filter now you can do a lot of things let's say if you want to find just the stocks whose share price is say greater than 5000 rupees then you can apply that filter just select here and go to filter by condition and greater than and just write 5000 and apply it so here you can see that all these companies share price is greater than 5000 rupees Similarly, you can also apply different filters like you can arrange these stocks in descending or ascending order that is the stocks with maximum share price to the minimum share price. And again, if you want to use other filters like if you want to find this companies whose share price is between 100 rupees to 500 rupees or 100 to 200 rupees, you can do all those using this simple filter. Now before ending this video, a uh, few things that I want to mention. The first is that the Indian stocks are also allowed to trade on foreign stock exchange. So it might be possible that these symbols are not unique. For example, Infosys that is Infi, if you search Infi, its share price is telling to be rupees 7.8 which is wrong. This is because this is showing in dollar. Infosys is trading on both national stock exchange and also in US as US stock exchange is more popular compared to national stock exchange this google sheet is fetching data for US stock exchange price but however there is a very simple formula to fix this issue so just add a syntax before in fee here type nsc and colon and press enter and by using that you can convert the company from whichever stock exchange it is showing to nsc similarly lnt you can search lt and, and for Larsen and Turbo also, the stock prices doesn't show the stock price for India. And to fix that, that issue, you can again use the same thing. That is, you can add a syntax of NSC colon before LT and this will show you the price for LNT. Initially, it might take a little time to fix these small bugs. However, once these bugs are fixed, you can find and track all the companies listed on NSC. Now, another thing that I want you to teach here is that if you go on the top and select that if you go on the top and select the filter and uh, just clear all you can see that for some stocks it is saying that na that is share price is not available so for those stocks also you have to apply the same thing that is add a syntax of nsc and colon before the symbol and when you add that thing it will start working so these small issues might be available for some stocks but this can be easily fixed so this was how simple it is to track all the stocks listed on nsc on google sheets now once you have got the list of all the stocks listed on nsc on a google sheet you can use this to do a lot of things for example you can create another sheet of nifty 50 stocks that is the stocks which are the constituents of nifty 50 and track their share price in addition you can also if you want to track automobile companies or banking companies or pharmaceutical companies you can create different sheet and track their share prices what is their current share price and even you can create your own portfolio and track those stocks now apart from these there are also more powerful things that you can do using google sheets but that we will discuss in another video for this video i hope everything that we discussed is clear to you if you have any doubt or any questions simply comment below this video and i'll be happy to help you and if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button as it motivates me to publish more videos so that's all for today this is kritesh signing off and take care of yourself